everybody. I hope everyone's doing well. Well, today we have a makeup, a makeup uh, challenge update for you guys. I'm going to try to bring these every week for you guys because it really keeps me in check. It keeps me going, you know, uh, having to come up here and what they say, accountability. <laughs> it helps. It helps. <laughs> So this is going to be on my makeup challenge. And then we're going to talk about, I'm going to show you something here um, as far as what I'm doing, a little personal thing that I'm doing to save money. I decided to put it in this video. Um, it's it, This is more of a budgeting thing that I do, but I decided to give you a little bit of, uh, to bring it in this video, just because we are going to talk about eBay and Posh right now. And so the funds that come out of that is going to be implemented into this thing that I'm doing. And I want to share that with you guys. Okay. So at the end, at the end, cause it really, really doesn't have anything to do per se with the actual makeup challenge, but in a way it does. And in a way it doesn't. You'll know. All right, guys, let me go ahead and just kind of recap a couple of things. Okay. Uh, I started this challenge on January 1st. Okay. I started with $10 in the bank. Okay. Off the bat, I started with $10. Okay. There are three ways for me to get points or inevitably cash. The two ways to get points is using up my makeup and then wearing my makeup. Okay. I get points for wearing makeup during, for the day. The other third way that I get cash, cause inevitably all of this is for cash. Uh, the third way is, uh, sales for cash or sales for credit. Uh, and that is what I sell from Posh and eBay combined to make a hundred dollars. So it can come from either platform at a hundred dollars net sales. I cash myself out $10. Okay. The amendment that I had done is that anything really, I, I used the shadow, uh, as an example, but really it's anything that is full, uh, like a full uh, eyeshadow palette, a full blush, a full highlighter, whether it's cream or not, but anything that is full size in particular, I was going to cash myself out when I hit certain markers. Okay. I'm still on the fence, whether I want to do the, like every one fourth of it being used and pay myself the corresponding point or get to halfway mark and then pay myself the corresponding point. I'm still kind of working that out, but nevertheless, uh, especially with shadows uh, or, or items that you just use such a, such a tiny bit amount to wait to use that whole thing out to get cashed out three points. I, I, I'm telling you, most of my shadows are, are full pans because I have so many. And so that's why I'm thinking. So for instance, okay. For instance, if the, if the product is worth four points, okay. And it's a full size. So if I do it by the quarter, then I'll pay myself as I hit markers. So when I hit the first one fourth use, I pay myself 0.25 and then half, I pay myself another 0.25, etc. And then that way I always get a little flow in of points. So th th that's, the amendment. Let's do a little recap so that it will make sense for this week. Okay. So when I recapped last week, it really was from January 1st to, uh, the 14th, uh, because I hadn't done an update, you know, I did the intro and then I came and I did an update for you guys, but I talked about it, you know, from the January 1st to the 14th. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about what happened last, uh, week or, or the last update. Makeup use up for the, for that was nothing. I got nothing, no points for that. Oh, and by the way, I do get paid out once I hit five points. Once I hit five points, I get paid out. Okay. Now the sales for cash, I got to hit a hundred point, a hundred dollars in cash sales, net sales to get paid out $10 for the point system. It's five points. I get paid out $10. Okay. All right. So last week, um, makeup use up none. Uh, bonus round. The bonus round is how many times that I apply my makeup. If I apply my makeup seven days in the week, I'll get a bonus of 0.5 of a point. So it'll be four points. If I don't do the full seven and I just do certain days out of the week, it's 0.5 for the day. Okay. So last week I got 1.5 points. 1.5 points. So I couldn't cash myself out in the point system. However, in the sales system for last week, uh, I did for my sales for cash, I did sell over a hundred dollars net sales 
and I got $10 cash. So right now in my bank, I have $20. I haven't used it. I haven't used it. All right, now let's go ahead and talk about this week, okay? Makeup use up for this week, none. <laughs> None. I really thought there was two products that are so close to being used. I'm not going to get full points for them because obviously they've already been used, uh, pretty much used, but I still can get some more out of them. And so, but we'll come back. We'll come back. So no makeup use of points, uh, bonus points for wearing makeup. I did, I did five days last week, five days. So that is 2.5 points. Okay. Uh, sales for cash. Wow. That was, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Um, $10 and 31 cents is a net sale for me for last week. Now that's really kind of what I expected because on the, you know, the week of the 14th, which was it, the eight to the 14th, it was an unusual run of sales, uh, for, for my eBay store. I, I sold them on eBay, not posh. I rarely sell anything on posh. And I do cross list to both. So if I, whatever I put on eBay goes straight into posh. But anyway, uh, it was just a really, uh, it wasn't a, a usual week. I just, you know, I had what people wanted, um, listed and in one, in one week I sold three items, but at that point for the whole month of January, at that point from the 14th, was in it five, I had sold five, um, total for the, for the, for the month of January 1st to the 14th, but for the week of the 8th to the 14th, it was three sales. And so that's, that was unusual because my sale is not, my stores are really not in the algorithm yet. However, I've been listing for two weeks consistent. So I'm hoping it's going to start getting up there. So that's it. No, no cash, no cash payout for sales. Bonus. So for the two weeks, tallying everything up, Makeup bonus or makeup use up none points bonus round wearing makeup. I'm carrying over 1.5 from last week, 2.5 for this week. So we are a total of four points. We need to get to five in order to cash out. So, uh, and then sales for cash right now, we're just at $10 and 31 cents. So I need, uh, 80, $89 and 69 cents more in sales in order to cash out. So that's where we're running. Okay. As far as that is concerned. Now I'm going to share with you guys the bonus thing that I wanted to bring to, to you guys. Now, this is something that, um, I can bring to you guys. I can share with you guys. We can do this together and see how far we can get. Um, it's going to depend on my sales and that's why I'm sharing it with you guys in this video. Um, just as a little extra bonus, um, in terms of my sales. So everything that I sell on eBay, other than the $10 for the challenge, makeup challenge, everything is really being poured it back into my personal account for right now. Uh, that's, I want to pour in a lot into my personal account. There's been a, a lot of extra uh, spending, uh, especially at the latter part of 2023. And so for now I'm flushing everything into, into my personal account. But anything that uh, is extra ish, <laughs> I'm not keeping it in my eBay savings account anymore because I'm doing this. So what is this? This is a hundred, hundred envelopes savings challenge. Now I have one exactly like this for my personal account. Only it's yellow. This is pink or like a blush pink. Okay. So what it is, all right, you get this sheet. Okay. And once you fill all these bubbles and I'm going to, I'm going to share with you how you do that. I'm going to share what, as soon as you fill all this, this is what you should have as your total 5,050. Okay. So in this binder is envelopes and I know you're not going to be able to see it, but they're numbered one, two, three, four, all the way to the back to a hundred. Okay. And what you do, what you do is you have to stuff the envelope according to the amount. So if you have a dollar on you, just put it into the dollar envelope. You would, you would stuff it here in this dollar one. And then you come over here to your chart. Okay. And then you cross it off. So if you have $2, you put $2 in there. And, and that's how you do it. 
Now at the end, like I said, you fill all these things in, you're going to have 5,050. So for me right now, the only one that's highlighted is the $40. Okay. So in this, did you see that guys? I'm not sure. 40. This is the 40 envelope. Okay. So in here is $40 and I'll show you. So we have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, $40. Okay. So this is the little extra. I, well, I think I have like $7 in my eBay savings. <laughs> I left $7 in there, but this is, this is what's extra and this is and i already poured a little bit into our personal and then i kept this for my envelope okay it's just going to depend on the sales so i need to get sales to be able to fill not just my ten dollar um makeup <laughs> budget but to also fill all these in and so um yeah as soon as we get all this we will have five, 5,050. I can bring this if you want when I do my makeup challenges. There may, you know, it's going to take me a while to get my store and my posh running. It really, really is. Um, it's not, it, it, you got it. It's like anything with YouTube and anything that is algorithm. You, you got to, you got to keep doing it, working it. So, yeah. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. So we got $40 in the bank here and we got $20 for my, <laughs> for my makeup fund. Okay, I'll tell you a little quick story and I'll let you go. When I was young and I mean, I like a teenager, maybe 13 years old or so, uh, mom was very, very astute when it comes to budgeting. My mother could take a dollar and I'm telling you, well, back then a dollar was worth a lot. You know, you could do a lot with a dollar, but, uh, she really can make a dollar stretch. My mother, we did not, we were middle class. Um, you know, we, my mother did not work. It was just my father, but we, my mother really knew how to deal with money. Um, and a lot of the time she did say it was because she did, she did without for so much. Um, she had nine brothers and sisters and both parents were trying to make it. And so mom would also work and try to bring in. And so she knew how to, really make things work, whether it be through the foods and the leftovers and being creative with food or whatever, but she just always had that mentality. So my mom always really had a lot of cash at home. Uh, she did, um, she allotted for things. She did kind of this, but it wasn't like this, you know? However, uh, my mom entrusted me with thousands and thousands of dollars. I kept a running thing for her. I separated out her money. Uh, I had it in a little place. I even made the little, I made a, like a wallet for her out of her, cause she would sew our clothes. And so I took her material and I made a little pocket and I had my little money in there and I separated, divvied it out the way she wanted me to, but I would, I would be her accountant in other words. I would be her accountant and my mother always, always, you know, would dad got paid, mom paid me, I'd run the books. Mom would say, hey, uh, can you please give me this much money from this? And I would go into the little envelope thingy and, you know, and I would do the tallies, you know, okay, you took this much money, mom, you know, boom, here. And, and that's how we would do it. And so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, my friends, that is it. I just thought I would share that with you and I thought I would share this. We can come, we can come and fill these, fill these up together if you would like. I don't mind. I don't mind doing that. All right, my friends, that is everything. I know I make these long, but <laughs> anyways, I will talk to you all very, very soon. I'll talk to you next week, next week on the see where we get to. Oof. <laughs> all right, guys, talk to you later. Bye.